Your guardian angels is operating under the notion that you don't always know when you're being lied to, but that you always know when you're being told the truth. Do you think it is the truth? If you think it's not, then you must listen to this. Recently, you're being lied to by your close friend. Is it that they feel compelled to lie for a good reason? But there is more to this question. The answer will amaze you. Type Amen to claim this message and the blessings inside for your own. Try and leave a positive comment for other viewers who might need a positivity boost in their day. Act now and sow into this word. Sow according to what you need and want God to do in your situation. If you have faith to give $10,000, you have faith to receive $1 million. The angels say this is a message from your guardian angels concerning lack of control and how there's nothing to be afraid of while things might feel overwhelming. There is someone in your life who purposefully lied to you. You look them dead in the eye and you ask them an important question without skipping a beat. What was this lie about and how will it affect events in your near future? The first thing you should know is that the purpose of this message is to encourage you and to let you know that things will be okay even if there are challenges ahead. The cosmos will not place anything in front of you that you cannot overcome. Your guardian angels have this to say, you have a pure spirit and your willingness to give others the benefit of the doubt will help you in the days ahead. You've always been a patient individual and this patience ensures that you succeed over all the challenges that lie ahead. All you have to do is listen to your intuition and know that the universe has grand plans for you. Are you having trouble seeing yourself in a more positive light? It's understandable as there are so many things about yourself that you still do not know. Life's a bit of a wild dance, isn't it? We waltz through existence, and the friends we make become the music that brightens our days. It's like we're part of this beautiful symphony, laughter and all, just like the fresh start of a new day. But sometimes, amidst this merry band, there's that. One person who seems to be off tune, striking a chord that doesn't sit right. Imagine this, you're having a blast with some new pals, and your laughter is like a delightful tune in the air. But little do you know, behind those smiles and friendly chatter, there might be some hidden agendas. These friends might not be in it for the genuine connection, but rather have their sights set on your wealth. They'll go to great lengths to get their hands on it. So, is this where your story takes a nosedive, or is there something bigger at play here? Well, the divine works in mysterious ways, my friend. This storm might just be the setup for something profound. As the plot thickens, you start noticing some odd behaviors from your friends. The veneer of friendship begins to crack, revealing the shadows lurking underneath. That gut feeling nudges you to dig deeper, question things, and trust your instincts. The divine whispers through your intuition, telling you to stay sharp and wise. In the midst of this brewing storm, the divine sends a clear message, trust yourself. Within this trial lies a powerful lesson, looks can be deceiving, and friendships built on convenience can crumble. This newfound awareness, forged in adversity, becomes your most precious treasure. It's not your wealth that defines you, but your character. Empowered by this, you take action. You stand up to these so-called friends, set boundaries, and make your values known. It's not just a confrontation, it's a declaration of your strength. This tempest isn't the end of the road. It's a forge where your resilience and authenticity are honed. 
As the dark clouds part, your path becomes clearer. True friendships are about character, not possessions. The future looks brighter. You emerge from the shadows, not as a victim, but as a survivor. This experience reinforces that self-care is crucial. Genuine friendships become your shield, and your circle turns into a sanctuary. Let this story be your wake-up call. Trust your instincts. Question the surface and seek real connections. Strengthen your boundaries and protect your authenticity. True friends will see your worth. Each chapter of life is a unique journey. In the maze of deceit, your intuition is your most valuable guide. This ordeal, despite its deception, gifts you the gem of discernment, leading you to brighter horizons. The trap set by fake friends may have seemed inescapable, but you've broken free. Emerging from the shadows, you're stronger and truer to yourself. Your true wealth isn't about money. It's about the richness of your character. In life's tapestry, deception might thread its way, but the fabric of authenticity and discernment remains intact. This experience reminds you that when facing treachery, your intuition is your greatest ally. So, my dear friend, your journey unfolds with every twist and turn. Even in the darkest moments, your inner light shines the brightest. You're not just a character in a story. You're the author of your destiny. This chapter proves the resilience of the human spirit. The Father says that this is a freeing time for you. There have been many things that have held you back and held you in intimidation. No more, says God. I am coming in and doing the work inside of you that is going to cause great freedom and great boldness to rise up in you. I have poured my wisdom into you, but sometimes people have tried to stomp on that and tried to override you and say that they know better than you or that they know what's best, what your path should be or the decision you should make. No, this says the Father, the wisdom that you carry inside of you is of me. So I don't want you to doubt yourself anymore. Don't doubt yourself hearing me, and don't doubt the wisdom I gave you. I want you to go the way that I tell you to go. When others around you are going to say go one way, go this way and cause confusion, purpose in your heart to stay focused on what I have birthed in you in the secret place. God says I have given you the capacity inside of you to receive my greatness and receive the ministry calling that I have for you. You have desired ministry and to see your life be used for my glory. You have desired to go to the nations and preach to the people. God says that I am starting you even in a smaller sphere of influence, and it's going to build and build and build. There are even going to be people you reach that you don't even know that you're reaching. Your word will have authority and travel to people groups and people groups and people groups. Sometimes you feel insignificant, but you are not insignificant. I have made you one with the voice of my heart that carries authority and greatness. God says when the enemy even tried to steal your voice when you were younger, I rescued you and kept you on the path of light and love. I am going to make your voice even louder in days to come. The Father wants you to know something important right now. It's a time for you to break free from the things that held you back and made you feel small and scared. God saying, no more. He's stepping in and working on the inside of you, bringing a new sense of freedom and boldness. You see, God has filled you with wisdom, but sometimes people have tried to diminish that wisdom, telling you they know better or pushing their opinions on you. But here's the deal. The wisdom inside you is from God himself. So no more second guessing. Stop doubting what you hear from God and the wisdom he's placed in your heart. 
you don't need to be swayed by others who might try to confuse you. Instead, stay focused on what God has been nurturing in your soul in those quiet moments. God's got big plans for you. Your desire for ministry and to impact the lives of others is part of His grand design. He might start you in a small way, but it's just the beginning. Your words will carry weight and reach people you never even imagined. There might be times when you feel like your voice doesn't matter, but you are far from insignificant. God has given you His voice, filled with authority and greatness. Even when the enemy tried to silence you when you were younger, God protected you and kept you on a path filled with light and love. And guess what? He's going to crank up the volume on your voice in the days to come. You're going to make waves, my friend. So stand tall and believe in the power God has placed within you. Your voice is about to become a whole lot louder. The Father says today in your life, it is time for a decree. It is the hour to let your mouth declare and decree some things you've been believing for. As you declare and decree a thing, says God, it will come to pass because in your decree, you are coming into agreement with my heart and what I've had planned for you all along. The things you are asking are in my heart. Don't question or wonder about this. I want you to have a settled answer in your inner man about my unswerving determination to give you the desires of your heart. Know that in the asking there is a demonstration. You are going to see a demonstration of what I'm bringing to pass in the near future. It will be as the earnest of a fresh inheritance and the down payment of my unfolding goodness. I want you to believe him, to open your mouth and pray over. Prophesy over other people as well, because this is a gift of my spirit that's locked up on the inside of you. And it is even now breaking open and being called forth my gifts, my callings that's been in you and with you throughout your life, for they are without repentance. Type Amen to claim this message and the blessings inside for your own. Try and leave a positive comment for other viewers who might need a positivity boost in their day. Act now and sow into this word. So according to what you need and want God to do in your situation. If you have faith to give $10,000, you have faith to receive $1 million. Words of transformation are coming. There are words of encouragement, edification, and exhortation out of. Because that is the inherent nature of my prophetic voice on the inside of you. There are words of wisdom bubbling up, words of knowledge on the inside of you for I purpose, says God. And I am determined to use you as an example of my goodness and my kindness and my, my kindred spirit that I've instilled in the inside of you. I will speak through you and perform signs, miracles, and signs through you on a day-to-day -day basis. I will even show you some things in the times to come, and you are going to sit back and relax. Enjoy and laugh because you know that it's a direct result of believing my word and allowing me to use you in a radical way, says God. So, believe in the Lord your God, and my establishing will establish you. Believe my prophets, and surely, surely you are going to prosper. Take it to the bank that I'm going to use you in the future, and these little things that you're feeling after. As you sense to feel, you listen to hear, you are just tracking the Holy Spirit. And he said, I'm pleased to bring to pass in full in your life and the lives of those around you. The Father has a special message for you today. And it's all about making declarations and embracing the dreams and desires deep in your heart. It's like a heartfelt conversation with your heavenly parent, 
who wants you to know that this is the time to boldly speak your aspirations into existence. Think of it as making a promise to yourself, to God, and to the universe. When you declare your dreams, you're actually aligning yourself with what's in God's heart for you. It's not just wishful thinking, it's a powerful act of faith. God is unwaveringly determined to bring your heart's desires to life. There's no room for doubt in this divine plan. As you speak and believe, you'll start seeing real-life evidence of things changing for the better. It's like getting a sneak peek of the goodness that's about to unfold in your life. Imagine it as a down payment on a beautiful gift with even more wonderful things on the way. You'll find yourself sharing words that inspire, encourage, and transform the lives of those around you. Wisdom will flow from your lips, offering guidance and insights to others. As you keep believing, trusting, and speaking your dreams, you're on the path to profound success and prosperity. God is reassuring you that this is a sure thing, just like when you trust and take something to the bank. So get ready for the amazing journey ahead, where your dreams become your reality and blessings pour into your life in ways you couldn't have imagined. It's a season of growth, transformation, and living out the desires of your heart, all wrapped up in God's abundant love and grace. Now, this raises an important question, what will you do with this revelation? Your guardian angels have gone out of their way to share this celestial message with you. Could it be a sign that you're stepping into a new, even more impactful chapter of your own journey? And if so, are you ready for it? You've already accomplished so much just by being you, but this could be the universe's way of preparing you for even greater things. If you've listened to this message and felt a resonance know that it's no mere coincidence, the universe doesn't make mistakes. Every step you've taken and every challenge you've faced has led you to become this inspiring figure. Isn't it incredible how life's puzzle pieces fit together to create this amazing picture? Others, too, are poised to be touched by your radiant energy as you continue on your journey. May your guardian angels guide you towards endless opportunities to shine even brighter. Now listen to this prayer as it holds divine blessings and essence. O oh Lord, as I lift my voice to you in prayer, I am awestruck by your majesty and the magnificence of your creation. From the vastness of the cosmos to the intricate beauty of the smallest living beings, your handiwork is evident everywhere I look. I stand in awe of your power and wisdom, and I am humbled by the privilege of being in your presence. Heavenly Father, I am aware of the challenges and adversities that surround us in this world. The enemies of our souls seek to undermine our faith, disrupt our lives, and lead us away from your loving embrace. I implore you, Lord, to shield us from these malevolent forces, to place a hedge of protection around us, and to grant us the strength to stand firm in the face of adversity. Guard our hearts, minds, and spirits against the schemes of the enemy, and let your light dispel all darkness. Father, I long for spiritual progress and growth in my journey with you. As I traverse the path of faith, I yearn for a deeper relationship with you, a greater understanding of your word, and a heart that overflows with love for you and for others. May your Holy Spirit be my constant guide, illuminating the scriptures and revealing the profound truths contained within. Grant me the wisdom to discern your will and the courage to follow it, Lord. Your word tells us that if anyone lacks wisdom, they should ask you, the generous giver, and it will be given to them. I come before you now, seeking the precious gift of wisdom. In a world filled with noise and confusion, help me to discern your voice amidst the clamor. Grant me the wisdom to make choices that align with your will and that lead me closer to your perfect plan for my life. 
Heavenly Father, in a world marked by turmoil and unrest, I earnestly seek your peace and serenity. Let your presence be a calming balm to my weary soul and grant me the strength to remain steadfast in my faith. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. In the midst of life's storms, help me to find solace in your abiding love. Lord, your word assures us that you are a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. I beseech you for guidance and direction in every aspect of my life. Lead me in the way that is pleasing to you and reveal your divine purpose for my existence. Illuminate the path before me and grant me the courage to follow it, trusting in your unfailing guidance. Father, there are times when life's challenges seem insurmountable and my strength falters. In those moments I turn to you, the source of all strength and endurance. Fill me with your might and let your grace be sufficient for me. Help me to soar on wings like eagles, to run and not grow weary, to walk and not faint. May I find renewed strength in you each day. Lord, you are the great healer, capable of mending broken hearts, bodies and spirits. I lift up to you those who are in need of your healing touch. Whether the ailment is physical, emotional, or spiritual, I trust in your power to bring about restoration and wholeness. May your healing hand be upon those who suffer, bringing comfort, relief, and renewed vitality. Heavenly Father, I am acutely aware of my imperfections and my need for your forgiveness and grace. I come before you with a contrite heart, confessing my sins and shortcomings. I ask for your mercy to wash over me, cleansing me from all unrighteousness. Grant me the ability to extend forgiveness to others as I have received it from you. Lord, you are the provider of all our needs and your storehouses are never empty. I place before you my concerns and needs, trusting in your abundant provision. Whether it is material, emotional, or spiritual, I trust in your faithfulness to supply all that is required. May your blessings overflow in my life and in the lives of those I love. Father, I yearn for the fruits of the Spirit to flourish within me, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. May these attributes be evident in my interactions with others, reflecting your divine nature and drawing people closer to you. Transform my character, Lord, and make me a vessel of your love. Heavenly Father, your word encourages us to live in unity and harmony with one another. I lift up to you our relationships, both within our families and among our friends and communities. May the bonds of love and fellowship be strengthened, and may your peace reign in our hearts. Let our interactions be marked by grace, compassion, and understanding. Lord, your heart aches for the lost and the broken, and so does mine. I lift up to you those who have not yet experienced the transformative power of your love. May your spirit draw them near, open their hearts to your truth, and bring them into your fold. Use me as an instrument of your love, that I may share your gospel and be a beacon of hope to those in need. Father, in a world that often clamors for more, I pray for a heart of gratitude and contentment. Help me to recognize and appreciate the countless blessings that surround me each day. May I find joy in the simple pleasures of life and contentment in your presence, knowing that you are the source of true fulfillment. Lord, I join my prayers with those who seek the peace of Jerusalem, a city that holds immense significance in your divine plan. I pray for the safety and well-being of its inhabitants and for the resolution of conflicts that persist in the region. May your peace, 
which transcends all understanding, extend to the land where your chosen people dwell. Heavenly Father, I recognize the allure of temptation and the frailty of human nature. I beseech you to deliver me from the snares of temptation and to grant me the strength to resist its enticements. Let your word be a lamp to my feet, guiding me.